In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about working with the advanced module for ProPresenter and the Matrox dual head to go and triple head to go display interfaces. Uh, the Matrox dual head to go and triple head to go are external pieces of hardware that allow you to expand the capability of ProPresenter to output to multiple screens from a single computer. And before we actually dive into those particular pieces of hardware, uh, I need to make you aware that the biggest part of making this decision is actually figuring out what the right box is for you to get, which dual head to go or triple head to go that you need to actually purchase uh, to, to accomplish the goal that you're trying to, to accomplish. And so to start out with, I actually want to go over some, some basics with regards to the graphics output standards that are available for your particular computer. And by and large, these are the graphics outputs and inputs that we're actually going to be, be speaking of uh, with regards to making the decision. And so at the very top, we have DVI-I. DVI-I is an analog and digital video signal that you might have on the back of your computer. In the case of Macs, this standard only exists right now on uh, the Mac Pro towers. And so you will not see this, this output directly on any other Mac uh, that exists. It only exists on the Mac Pros. And by saying that it contains an analog and digital signal, that means that it actually is capable of outputting uh, to analog devices as well as to digital devices. It actually contains within this, within this plug the capability of outputting to either one of those signals. And um, the next standard is digital only, that's DVI-D. Now you notice the difference between the DVI-I and the DVI-D standards are the, the DVI-D does not have the four pins that are located around this little crossbar right here. That's significant because a lot of cables and a lot of uh, devices do not have the ability to carry an analog signal. And some of the Matrox boxes that we're actually going to be speaking of, uh, you'll, you'll run into this problem. So you need to be familiar with what DVI-I looks like and DVI-D looks like and understand what you're capable of doing um, before we actually get, get too much further. Um, one of the things that you can actually do with the, with the DVI-I is you can use an inexpensive adapter to go from DVI-I to VGA, which is the next standard that, we're, that I'm actually going to speak of. VGA is probably the, 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 the longest used standard in the, in the computer graphics industry. It's a 15-pin connector. Probably everybody has seen this type of connector, um, and it is analog only. So you can actually do, get converters to go from DVI-I to VGA uh, if you want to, but you cannot get connectors to go from DVI-D to VGA, and that distinction is extremely important as you're making your decision about which matrox dual head to go or triple head to go to purchase. It's not merely a matter of looking at the connector and knowing, hey, this has DVI, I will certainly be able to switch it to VGA because not all DVI connectors are equal. The next connector is a mini DVI connector, and this is uh, proprietary to Apple. And this is on the back of some older iMacs and uh, some Mac minis, uh, and it is slowly being phased out uh, of, of the Apple line. And in fact, uh, as I record this, it is only available on the back of the Mac mini. This connector is capable of being uh, converted either to a VGA type connector or to a DVI-D connector, but it cannot be converted to a DVI-I connector. So you can get either a VGA analog signal or a digital DVI signal from a mini DVI. And this is again a port that would be on the back of the machine. Um, there are no display devices that will actually accept a mini DVI signal directly. You will have to go through one of the adapters that that uh, Apple sells for $19 to either go to VGA or to DVI-D. The newest standard in Apple's display output lineup is the mini display port. And this is a very, very small connector. And it's actually a, a, uh, a miniaturization of a international standard, which is called the display port. And I put a picture of that down here because that's going to become important in our discussion as well. So this down here is the full sized display port connector. And this is Apple's uh, miniaturization of that, which is called the mini display port. Uh, as I record this, I believe there's only one display that, uh, that is made and that's made by Apple, which is their 24 inch LED display that actually will take this signal directly. Otherwise, you're going to need to go through some sort of converter to go from mini display port to either a full size display port or to VGA or to DVI-D. Again, you cannot simultaneously output from a mini display port an analog and a digital signal. 
So it's it's much uh, it's very very similar to the mini DVI port in that respect. So once you have a knowledge of these various ports and what they're capable of, then you need to understand what it is that your projection devices are, are going to want to accept. And more often than not, it's probably going to be that those display devices are going to want to accept VGA or you're going to want to run DVI-D to that. Um, so determining what your projectors or your LCD displays or whatnot will take uh, is, is the first step in this process. Uh, and then also understanding what your computer is actually capable of outputting. When you know those two things, you can make an educated decision on which matrix dual head to go or triple head to go to purchase. And we actually have a website uh, or a page that actually explains the various triple head to go or dual head to goes uh, that are available. And that's at www.renewedvision.com slash matrix. And we will always have the latest and greatest updated information uh, on these products on this page. So what is a dual head to go or a triple head to go? Well, anytime that you hook up a display device into your computer, the display device has what are called EDIDs. These are display identifiers that basically communicate to the computer the resolutions that that display device is capable of rendering properly. And so the dual head to go or the triple head to go are, are pieces of hardware that send EDIDs to the computer and, and make the computer think it's hooked into a really wide display. Uh, a, a really wide display being two times the width of a normal display or three times the width of a normal display. So as you go down this list, uh, for example, the triple head to go, the resolutions that it's capable of receiving from the computer are listed within this table. And these, these widths or these resolutions are generally three times wider than a standard resolution that you might get out of a computer, starting with a 640 by 480 resolution. Three times a 640 by 480 resolution is 1920 by 480. So when you hook this, this device, this triple head to go, into your computer, it's going to make your computer thinks it's, think, think it's hooked into a 1920 by 480 resolution device which it will then take that video signal and cut into three separate 640 by 480 resolution outputs, which would then be fed to your projectors or to your LCD or plasma displays. Uh, so these are the, the display resolutions that this box is capable of. It is not necessarily the resolutions that your computer is capable of generating. Uh, the limitations on computer output are determined by the graphics card of the computer as well as the display connector that you're actually using for that. So understanding the, the hardware and making the, the proper decision on what kind of hardware to get is of paramount importance before you actually dive into the advanced module and what the advanced module can do for you. So I would highly, highly encourage you to, uh, to look at this page and determine what device is, is right for you. And a couple of notes uh, of importance, if you are actually using this mini DisplayPort connector, uh, the limitations of the mini DisplayPort are that it can only do up to 2400 by 600 resolution through its VGA connection, uh, if you were to use a VGA adapter, or uh, to, the, to the regular DVI adapter. Otherwise, you're going to want to get the DisplayPort Edition, which is, the, which is, as the website says, our top recommendation for many DisplayPort equipped computers. Because uh, this will allow you to get the full resolutions that this particular device is capable, capable of. So you can go up to the higher resolutions, the 1024 by 768 or 1280 by 720 resolutions that this device is capable of. However, the mini dis or I'm sorry, the display port edition of the triple head to go will only accept this full size display port. So you've got to get the proper adapters. And we've made that very easy for you on the Renewed Vision website uh, because we actually sell bundles that include a mini display port to display port adapter as well as display port to either VGA or DVI outputs. So those are the bundles that are available on the Renewed Vision store. But again, the as you dive into the advanced module and the triple head to go, the first decision that you have to make is what hardware you're going to get. And this, uh, this matrix uh, page that we have on our website will assist you with that a great deal.